Hey guys, I've got a bit of an experiment today. I'm gonna call up a friend of mine, Sada. I'm gonna get her to create a Tinder account using pictures of me. So she's gonna create a male account and then she's gonna have the experience of trying to get women on that app to date her. Sada is a smart girl and she's pretty sympathetic to male struggles. So she probably appreciates on a cognitive level that this is not going to be easy, that being a man on one of these dating apps is not easy, but I'm curious to see her journey as she actually goes through the experience of being in a man's shoes and trying to chat up women. All right, let's go ahead and give her a call. Hey Sada, how are you doing? I'm fine in you. Yes, I'm doing very well. I told you that I was gonna have an experiment for you. Are you? Are you ready? Are you feeling nervous? All right, I'm ready. I'm excited. I guess I'm excited. Let me first ask you, have you ever been on the dating app Tinder before? Yes. Okay, so how was it? As a woman, did you get lots of matches? Did lots of men try and talk to you? Uh, yes. Yes, lots of men. What I want to do today is I want to swap your gender. I want to see what it's like if a woman is put into the shoes of a man. So I'm going to send you a couple of photos of myself. And I want you to create a dating profile as a man. <laughs> and I want you to see if you can get a woman to go on a date with you. I want you to chat up women and I want you to report back to me what your experience is like as a man on this dating app. So when you first hear the experiment, what are you thinking? What's, what's coming to mind? If I'm going to put your pictures, I mean, your looks are good. You're attractive. So that will be easy, like, to match with, uh, with women. Uh, because they will instantly you think it'll be easy? look at that. Yeah, because of, yeah, because of your looks. I like that we've got an experiment and you've got a hypothesis which says that you're going to get a lot of matches based on my appearance. I promise I'll send you some good photos of myself, or at least I'll try and find some. I don't take particularly good photos. Let me ask photos. you something. Do you have one without a shirt or something? <laughs> Uh, I'm just nobody kidding. wants to see that. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I don't think that you're going to get that many matches. I think that you're going to struggle. I'm not doing any false humility. I understand. I'm reasonably like okay to look at. Like I'm probably above average, but I think that you're still going to find a lot of difficulty. I'm going to give you, let's say, a week, a week's time. I want you to try and match with as many women as possible. Okay, this will be fun. <laughs> I'm excited for this. <laughs> I, I think so too. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I don't think that she realizes how difficult this is going to be. The next step is I need to find some photos to send her. I have no idea what people put on their Tinder photos, but I'm not going to do a topless shot. I don't think I have a topless shot. Okay, so I think I've chosen the three photos that I want to send her. I'll show you. I've got this one that seems pretty standard. It's just a photo of me looking at a camera. Uh, I chose this one it's from a few years ago uh, on like a boat cruise that I took. and. This one is kind of just to troll her a little bit, make it a little bit harder. Um, it's from a community dance project that I did a couple of years ago, but it's a pretty strange photo. So I think she'll have fun trying to explain that one to potential matches. <laughs> All right, I'll just send them through to her now. Good luck. So I just talked to Alexander and he basically wants me to be a man and to go on Tinder and to get some girls to go on a date with me, but with his pictures. Now I'm just thinking about the story I need to invent. I want to prepare a few points just for the conversation to be more natural. I want to like be very direct, but also smooth in the approach. So yeah, let's see how this goes. So I already put his pictures on Tinder and I invented some bio, just some simple stuff. Hi, my name is Alex. I live and work in Lisbon as a psychologist, looking for a nice lady to develop a meaningful relationship with and enjoy the pleasures of life. It's simple, it's good, and yeah, there we go. I'm going to start doing some matches. This is day three of Tinder operation. And it's going well. On the first day, we only got five matches. And I was like, I was stressing out. I was just like, this is going to be much harder than what I was thinking. I mean, I thought this was going to be like easy peasy, okay. I'm going to text these women and these women are going to want to go on a date with me and I'm going to match a lot. And that didn't happen. On the group of five, there was one that was that was like really gorgeous. Another one that I don't know why the hell did she match with me? I mean, the whole conversation was just pure pain, pure agony. She was like answering with two or three words in each message. And I was like, why? Stop this. Stop. I asked her to, if she wanted to go on a date with me, she was lucky that I asked her because she was being literally like pain. I asked if she wanted to go on a date with me and she was like, no, but thanks. 
oh, get the hell out of here. I mean, it was just like, why? Day two, I was blown away. I mean, I was like, oh, this is it. This is the real deal. We got more 28 matches. 28, it's a lot. Let's be honest here. On average, those women were not that good looking. I'm not being selective. And I think that's a problem here. I'm just swiping like a maniac and see what I can get. I don't think I should do that anymore. I want to try a different approach. I want to be more selective and I'm going to try to think more like a man. Let me try to pick and swipe the most beautiful women that appear. I want the more attractive ones. And I want to see that if I'm not that selective, can I get as many matches? So here's the Tinder accounts. I don't know exactly what this is, but this is like, I think there are a lot of women that are liking me. This is like has 17.5 here. I don't know what that is. But yeah, here's a chat. Here are all the women I've been texting. I just want to go like with very gorgeous ones. And I just want to see if I can match with them. Uh, so I think this one is very agreeable. I think this one too. I'm going to put a like on her. And it's a match. Good. I'm going to text her saying hi. How are you? And let's continue. Julie, I think this Julie is very gorgeous too. This one, very gorgeous. Oh, this one is interesting. It's like a booty pic. I don't know why. We have some more skin. So yeah, let's just put a like on this one too. And it's a match. I'm being more selective. I mean, this is going well. So I'm going to keep this and I want to see what happens by the end of the day. So this is day five. And at this point, I am not motivated. I am not happy with the results. On day three, I got 13 matches. Yesterday, I got one, and today, I got one. In the beginning, I had lots of matches, but I wasn't actually being selective. And let's be honest here, I was matching with women that were not that attractive. I was getting, like, uh, women on mid-30s higher. What amazed me <laughs> wasn't this decrease of matches was actually the replying. I mean, how can I get these women to go on a date with me if they don't even reply to me? I was so confused. I mean, if we match, why aren't we talking? I match with so many and I got no response. I saw a lot of like Instagram stuff, follow me on Instagram, and I didn't thought this would happen. I didn't thought I would match and they wouldn't reply. From what I talked to my friends and maybe myself, that doesn't happen if I matched, like the man doesn't reply to me. Like that doesn't happen. If I compare an, an experience that a woman has on a dating app and that a man has on a dating app, it's much different and it's weird that I struggle so much and that if I change like the picture to a woman, I don't struggle at all. I didn't thought this would be like this because I find Alex in terms of uh, looks good looking and interesting. I put he was a damn psychologist. That's super interesting. I don't know if people get depressed after being on a dating app, but I don't know. I just feel like down at this point. I don't know why I feel down. It's not even me. This is not very healthy, is it? There are maybe some psychological effects from this whole thing. I mean, I'm down now and it's not even my damn picture and my damn life, but I'm down. I really thought I would get a better response. I mean, I just don't know. I thought this was going to be more easy, like... Oh, I really wasn't expecting this. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> All right, guys, it has been a week since I gave Sada this Tinder challenge experiment. I have no idea if it's been a failure or a success, but I'm going to call her now and we'll find out what the result is. Hey, Sada, I am very curious to hear how you got on. Have you had a good week or a bad week with Tinder? Was it a success or a failure? I think it was a failure. I had like lots of expectations on what would go on and what would like happen and it was like the complete opposite in terms of matching i got some success but then the replying was a nightmare i just think it's a little bit difficult for me to invite them to go on a date with me if they don't even reply and this happened like a lot a lot okay so we've got lua hi lua you write and you got no reply yeah pretty much i don't know why she matched with me this is my brain. My brain is like, why the hell did you match if you're not going to reply? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Gabriella. Hi, Gabriella. No reply. Same thing again. Madalena. 
Uh, como estas, Madalena? And then no reply. Maria, how are you? No reply. Melissa, and how are you? No reply. I'm certainly picking up a trend here. Vanessa didn't reply. Elizabeth didn't reply. I struggled. Even in the conversations, I had like to lead the conversation. Some of them put zero effort. In the last days, I was like, I hate this. I don't want to do this again. At least you now have an idea of what it's like for just average guys every single day on these apps. It's so, it's so hard for them and it really eats away at your self-esteem. Yeah, but I thought you weren't like average. I said you were like a psychologist. You had like very good pictures. I, I didn't understand what was like the problem. It's weird to me, this whole thing is weird because guys don't do this on dating apps. They just don't stop replying. They don't do that. Like they don't ghost. And it's weird that women do that so often. You know how you said at the beginning that it was uh, easier to get matches and then it was difficult to get replies or as many matches. I hate to burst your bubble as well, but when you first create a Tinder algorithm, uh, sorry, uh, when you first create a Tinder account, the algorithm pushes your new account into lots of different people's faces so that you can get a bunch more matches so that initially you get that dopamine hit that says, wow, this app really, really works. And it hooks you in thinking, ah, oh, yes, this is good. And so lots of people don't realize that they think, Oh, I had success at one point, but it was it was just at the beginning. Once the Tinder algorithm starts to assign you like a hidden value, then you start to get matches according to your actual kind of um, desirability on the app, and it starts to go way, way, way down. So even that initial success that you you that you got on the app that wasn't really due to anything. That was completely artificial. Yeah, that makes sense because today I got zero matches. Yesterday one. The other day won, and I just feel like Tinder is just unfair as hell. This is all very weird reality. And maybe I was like ignorant. I didn't know this was like this. I just feel sorry for like guys and stuff. Like, no, I don't, I don't think this is good for anyone, really. Let me ask you this. When you began the experiment, did you think that you would have a bit of an edge being a woman and thinking, I know what women are looking for. I'm going to be able to talk to them in like an easy way. Were you confident going in that you'd have the skills to be able to make these women attracted to you? Yeah, I was like, I know what they want to hear. I know what they want. I was so confident. I, I was so confident. I was like, I know what they want. I know what they want to hear. <laughs> I'm going with some pretty good messages and it's going to work out, but it didn't. I'm so confused. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about anything anymore. I was with a woman mindset. I thought what happens to a woman in a dating app would actually happen to a man. I was like, meaningful relationship. Not even a damn meaningful relationship these women want. <laughs> what? My friends can tell me the experience, but we can't really feel the whole thing. We can feel a little bit. We have empathy, of course, but once we are actually in the situation, it's much different and we can actually feel the, maybe what some guys feel and it's not good. It's not a good experience. For me, it's, it's very good to go through this really, because I'm getting more, I'm just expanding my awareness of everything. Would you encourage other women to do this experiment, to just try creating a male dating profile on tinder just to see what it's what it's like do you think that would be a valuable experience for women to go through of course of course absolutely they should feel this they should know like this is just just to see just to not ghost just to stop some actions maybe this will make them act a little bit different in some other context i would probably on my own just say to my friends oh, why don't you do this just for a day or two just see what happens Thank you to Sada for her contribution to this experiment. And thank you to all of the women who watch this channel, taking the time to empathize with the difficulties that men face in the dating market, understanding things from the male point of view. If you enjoyed Sada's contribution to this video and you'd like to see more experiments with Sada, please comment below, especially if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see. This video was shortened down for YouTube. The final debriefing conversation with Sada went for a full half hour and we went into a lot more depth on her experiences and a large number of topics, including a more thorough exploration of those Tinder conversations where she was successful. In fact, in the final tally, she actually convinced seven women to go on dates with her, 
And even though she was disappointed with that result, that was actually more than I would have predicted. I think that her disappointment reflects the vastly different expectations each gender has for success in the dating market. If you'd like to see the full uncut version of the whole conversation with Sada, I have posted it as a bonus video on my Patreon page. For every video that I post on YouTube, I post an additional bonus video on Patreon. That means that at the moment you're only seeing half of my total content. If you'd like to see the other half, then please go and sign up at my Patreon. Not only will you see an extended version of this video, but you'll get instant access to a whole bunch of other exclusive videos. It's just $5 a month and it is a great way to support the channel. I would love to see you over there. Thank you.